Thus saith the Lord, in their affliction they will seek me early. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us, and the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. O Ephraim, what shall I do unto thee? O Judah, what shall I do unto thee? For your goodness is as a morning cloud, and as the early dew it goeth away. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. For I desired mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. And ye shall eat it in haste, 
It is the Lord's Passover. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man, and preserve me from the wicked man, who imagine mischief in their hearts, and stir up strife all the day long. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent, adders poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hand of the ungodly. Preserve me from the wicked men who are proposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have laid a snare for me and spread a net abroad with cords. Yea, and set traps in my way. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. Hear the voice of my prayers, O Lord. O Lord God, Thou strength of my help, Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Let not the ungodly have his desire, O Lord. Let not his mischievous imaginations prosper, lest they be too proud. Let the mischief of their own lips fall upon the head of them. Let compass be about. The righteous also shall give thanks unto thy name, and the just shall continue in thy sight. Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. At that time, Jesus went forth with his disciples over the brook Sidron, where there was a garden into which he entered and his disciples. And Judas also, which betrayed him, knew the place, for Jesus oft times restored hither with his disciples. Judas then, having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, cometh hither with lanterns and torches and weapons. Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? Whom seek ye? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus saith unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon as then, as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Then asked he them again, Whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore ye seek me, let these go their way. That the saying might be fulfilled which he spake, Of them which thou gavest me have I lost none. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it, and smote the high priest's servant, and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Then Jesus said unto Peter, Put up thy sword into the sheath. The cup which my father hath given me, shall I not drink it? Then the band and the captain and officers of the Jews took Jesus and bound him, and led him away to Annas first, for he was father-in-law to Caiaphas, which was the high priest that same year. 
Now Caiaphas was he which gave counsel to the Jews that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. And Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. That disciple was known unto the high priest, and went in with Jesus into the palace of the high priest. But Peter stood at the door without, then went out that other then went out that other disciple, which was known unto the high priest, and spake unto her that kept the door, and brought in Peter. Then saith the damsel that kept the door unto Peter, Art not thou also one of this man's disciples? He saith, I am not. And the servants and officers stood there, who had made a fire of coals, for it was cold, and they warmed themselves, and Peter stood with them and warmed himself. The high priest then asked Jesus of his disciples and of his doctrine. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, where the, whither the Jews always resort, and in secret have I said nothing. Why askest thou me? Ask them which heard me. What I have said unto them, behold, they know what I said. And when he had thus spoken, one of the officers which stood by struck Jesus with the palm of his hand, saying, Answerest thou the high priest so? Jesus answered him, If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why smitest thou me? Now Annas had sent him bound unto Caiaphas the high priest, and Simon Peter stood and warmed himself. They said therefore unto him, Art not thou also one of his disciples? He denied it, and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, being his kinsman, whose ear Peter cut off, saith, Did I not see thee in the garden with him? Peter then denied again, and immediately the cup grew. Then led they Jesus from Caiaphas unto the hall of judgment. And it was early, and they themselves went not into the judgment hall, lest they should be defiled but that they might eat the Passover. Pilate then went out unto them and said, What accusation bring ye against this man? They answered and said unto him, If he were not a male factor, we would not have delivered him un up unto thee. Then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him, and judge him according to your law. The Jews therefore said unto him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death that the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spake, signifying what death he should die. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again, and called Jesus, and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Every one that is of the truth heareth my voice. Pilate saith unto him, Art thou a king then? That's true. Sorry, what is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews, and saith unto them, I find in him no fault at all, but ye have a custom, that I should release unto you one at the Passover. Will ye therefore, that I release unto you the king of the Jews? Then cried they all again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. And the soldiers platted a crown of thorns and put it on his head. And they put on him a purple robe and said, Hail, King of the Jews. And they smote him with their hands. 
Pilate therefore went forth again, and saith unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that ye may know that I find no fault in him. Then came Jesus forth, wearing the crown of thorns, and the purple robe. And Pilate saith unto them, Behold the man. When the chief priests therefore and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Take ye him, and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid, and went again into the judgment hall, and saith unto Jesus, Whence art thou? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then saith Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee, and have power to release thee? Jesus answered, Thou couldst have no power at all against me, except what were given thee from above. Therefore he that delivered me unto thee hath the greater sin. And from thenceforth Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, If thou let this man go, thou art not Caesar's friend. Whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against Caesar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. And it was the preparation of the Passover and about the sixth hour. And he said unto the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified. And they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place, went to a place called the place of the skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two other with him, on either side one, and Jesus in the midst. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. This title then read many of the Jews, for the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city, and it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Then said the chief priests of the Jews to Pilate, Write not the king of the Jews, but that he said, I am king of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments and made four parts, to every soldier a part, and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. They said therefore among themselves, Let us not rend it, but cast lots for it, whose it shall be. That the scripture might be fulfilled, which saith, They parted my raiment among them, and for my vesture they did cast lots. These things therefore the soldiers did. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciple standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar, and put it on hyssop, and into his mouth. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head, and gave up the ghost. Sabbath day was a high day. He sought Pilate that their legs might be broken 
and that they may be taken away. Then came the soldiers and brake the legs of the first, and of the other which was crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus, and saw that he was dead already, they brake not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came there out blood and water. And he saw that it bare a record, and his record is true. And he knoweth that he saith true, that ye might believe. For these things were done, that the scripture should be fulfilled. A bone of him shall not be broken. And again another scripture saith, They shall look on him whom they pierced. And after this, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him leave. He came therefore and took the body of Jesus. And there came also Nicodemus, which at the first came to Jesus by night and brought a mixture of myrrh, aloes, and about a hundred pound weight. Then took they the body of Jesus, and wound it in linen clothes with spices, as the manner of the Jews is to bury. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden was a new sepulcher, wherein was never man yet laid. There lay they, Jesus, therefore, because the Jews' preparation day, for the sepulchre was nigh at hand. Let us pray dearly, beloved, for the holy church of God, that our God and Lord would vouchsafe to give her peace and unity and preserve her throughout all the world, making subject unto her principalities and powers, and grant that leading a quiet and peaceful life, we may glorify God the Father Almighty. Let us pray. Let us bow the knee. Arise. Almighty and everlasting God, who in Christ has revealed thy glory to all the nations, preserve the works of thy mercy, that thy church, spread abroad over the whole world, may with steadfast faith persevere in the confession of thy name. Through the same Jesus Christ our own Lord. Amen. Let us also pray for our most blessed Father, John, that our God and Lord, who hath chosen him unto the order of bishops, may preserve him in health and safety to his holy church, for the governance of thy holy people of God. Let us pray. Let us bow the knee. Arise. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose judgment all things are established, mercifully regard our prayers, and in thy goodness preserve him whom thou hast chosen to be our bishop, that the Christian people who are governed by thy, thine authority may under so great a bishop increase in the merits of their faith through Je the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us also pray for all bishops, priests, deacons, subdeacons, acolytes, exorcists, readers, doorkeepers, confessors, virgins, and widows, and for all the holy people of God. Let us pray. Let us bow the knee. 
arise. Mighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of the church is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications, which we offer before thee for all orders of the same, that by the bounty of thy grace they may faithfully serve thee in their several estates. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's also pray for our governors of countries and for all who bear rule and authority under them, that our Lord God may guide their hearts and minds according to his will for our perpetual peace. Let us pray. Let us bow the knee. Arise. Almighty and everlasting God, in whose hand are the dominion and government of all the peoples, look graciously on those who bear rule and authority over us, that all nations, by the protection of thy right hand, may continue in true religion and abide in continual safety, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us also pray for our catechumen, that our God and Lord would open the ears of their hearts and the gate of mercy, that receiving in the waters of regeneration the remission of all their sins, they may also be found in Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Let us bow to the Arise. O my name, everlasting God, who dost enrich thy church with a new offspring. Increase the faith in understanding of our catechumen, that they, being born again in the water of baptism, may be numbered among the sons of thy adoption. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, dearly beloved, unto God the Father Almighty, that He would that He would purge the world uh, from all errors, would take away diseases, drive away famine, open the prisons, loosen the chains, great grant unto pilgrims a safe return, to the sick healing, and to them that travel by sea a haven of safety. Let us pray. Let us bow the knee. Arise. O my name, everlasting God, the comfort of them that mourn, the strength of them that travail, let the prayers of them that cry out of any tribulation ascend unto thee that in their necessities all may rejoice in the succor of thy loving kindness. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us also pray for our heretics and schismatics, that our God and Lord would deliver them from all their errors, and that safe to call them back to their Holy Mother, the Catholic and the Apostolic Church. Let us pray. Let us bow. Arise. Almighty and everlasting God, who savest all men, and wouldst not that any should perish, look upon the souls that are deceived by the craft of the devil that the hearts of them that are gone astray, being delivered from all perversity of heresy, may turn to wisdom and come again to the unity of thy truth. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us also pray for the Jews, 
that our God and Lord would take away the veil from their hearts, that they also may acknowledge Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Let us bow the knee. Arise. Almighty and everlasting God, who denies not thy mercy, even unto the Jews, graciously hear our prayer, which we offer for the blindness of this people, that they, acknowledging the light of thy truth, which is Christ, may be delivered from their darkness, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us also pray for the heathen, that God Almighty would take away the iniquity from their hearts, that, forsaking their idols, they may be turned unto the living and true God, and to his only Son, Jesus Christ our Lord and God. Let us pray. Let us bow the knee. Arise. Almighty and everlasting God, who desirest not the death of sinners, but rather that they should live, mercifully receive our prayer and deliver them from the worship of idols, and gather them unto thy holy church to the praise and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Behold the wood of the cross, whereon was hung the world's salvation. O come, let us worship. Behold the wood of the cross, Whereon was hung the world's salvation. O come, let us worship. Behold the wood of the cross, whereon was hung the world's salvation. O come, let us worship. with manna and brought the 
Santos, Santos Portis, Adios Athenos, Ebleheim Sanimas, Santos Immortal Beings, Miserere Dobies. What more could I have done for thee that I have not done? I indeed did plant thee my vineyard exceedingly fair, and thou art become very bitter unto me, for vinegar thou givest to quench my thirst, and hast pierced with a spear the side of my Savior. Adios, O Theos, Sanctus Deus, Adios, Ebrishos, Sanctus Fortis, Adios, Athenos, Ebleis Animas, Sanctus Immortal Beings,
Spirit of humility and with an upright heart, let us be accepted of the O Lord, and grant that the sacrifice we offer this day in thy sight may be pleasing unto thee, O Lord God. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable, O Lord God Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of thy hands to the praise and glory of his name, both to our benefit and that of all of his holy church. Let us pray, instructing by seeming precepts and following divine institution. We are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, we beseech the old Lord, from all evils past, present, to come. And at the intercession, blessed and glorious, ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God, and with thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and with Andrew and all thy saints, graciously give peace in our days, that aided by the help of thy loving kindness, we may ever both be free from sin and safe from all this quiet. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth, God, throughout all ages of ages. Amen. Amen.
not my judgment and condemnation, but of thy goodness. Lend a veil unto me for protection of soul and body, that I may receive thy healing, who with God the Father and the unity of the Holy Ghost livest and reigneth God, world without end.
wishes behind both my own Jesus Christ, pursuing my soul. Grant, O Lord, that what we have taken with our mouths, we may receive in purity of heart, and let this temporal gift avail 